Hi, well, I'm Professor Nesheba, and I uh, want to tell you a little bit about um, the differential form of the first law of thermodynamics. So, um, key to this uh, idea is that there's some exchange of energy between what we're going to call the system and the surroundings. And uh, thermodynamics lays that out in two ways. Uh, here, I just kind of imagine that uh, the surroundings are this hot plate, and uh, the system is the, the, the liquid in that, in that beaker, and you know, maybe the temperature of the hot plate of the surrounding is, is greater than the temperature of, the, of that water. In that case, we know that heat's going to go into that water. Uh, we measure the amount of heat that transfer that, that goes uh, from system to surrounding, or vice versa, by this quantity Q, or if it's a tiny amount, we're going to call it dQ. Okay? A small amount of heat is positive if the temperature of the surroundings is bigger than, um, than, than the system. Likewise, if the temperature of the surroundings, if the surroundings are cooler than the, than the system, then dQ will be negative when we imagine heat flowing out of the system into the surroundings. Okay, so that's one, one way that uh, we talk about the exchange of energy between system and the surroundings. The other one is through work, and uh, I just imagined a tire pump here got a surrounding pressure, got the, some gas inside there which is at, uh, at a pressure. If the pressure of the surroundings right there is, is greater than the pressure uh, uh, in the air inside the tube, then we know that the, you know, assuming this can move, the volume will go down. And uh, what we say is that DW is positive system, uh, that the surroundings do work on the system. Likewise, uh, if we have less pressure in the surroundings, we can imagine that the, uh, that the system would expand, its volume would go up, and we have dW is negative. So that's all about the exchange of energy between the system and the surrounding. Um, now we, we get to uh, the, the other half of this, which is that U is this quantity that we say um, is just a, it's a tally of all the energy in the system. And uh, I'm going to say dU is the change in that energy resulting from, from some process, okay? And now, here's the first law of thermodynamics. It's pretty straightforward. It says that the change in the total energy of that system, du, would have to be equal to whatever change that happened as a result of a temperature difference, plus whatever uh, result that happens as a result of work, which in this case I've indicated is uh, a change in, in volume. So that's, um, that's, that's the first law. And then uh, one can think about a few limiting cases here. Um, we've uh, talked about temperature being greater than or less than uh, the uh, system and the surroundings. But what if they're equal? Or what if the temperatures are different, but there's an insulator between them? Either way, no heat is going to pass from a uh, system to surroundings, and so dQ will be zero. Uh, what if the pressure um, is uh, equal, and the system is equal to the pressure of the surroundings? We would say that. Uh, the system is in mechanical equilibrium with the surroundings, um, or maybe there's just some blockage that prevents the volume of the system from changing, no change in volume. Uh, either way, uh, we can't get any, uh, any, uh, any work done, and so we would call that dW equals zero. Okay.